how challenging has it been, uh, particularly over those lockdown phases, uh, to keep up with the demand? Here in Singapore, you would often go to the supermarket and there would be aisles where there was actually no product on the shelves. And I know that that was the case at a number of other, in a num number of other countries around the world. How did you meet that challenge? I mean, as you said, at the beginning, we had a, a peak that was unexpected. People moved uh, at home completely, so there was not any more uh, out-of-home consumption. So what we had to immediately readjust our supply to make sure that uh, we fulfill the demand. As I said, focusing on the core SKUs, making sure that uh, in all the countries we had the capability to have our people going to the factory, have our people uh, driving trucks, uh, shipping the products, uh, and then shelves those products uh, into the store. I have to say as well that e-commerce was booming, and you probably realized as well that uh, some most of the countries didn't cope uh, with uh, the increase of demand. And this is where we partner with our retailers to help them to forecast better the future demand. But for sure, is one of the trends that will stay and probably one of the channels that was uh, unprepared for such uh, a high demand.